Dennis Hall is ranked among the entertainment stalwarts in Jamaica and we sat down with Dennis for a lively chat to hear his story. But of course we did not want to tell you Dennis's story. So here's Dennis telling his own story. Welcome to the lively chat. You know, growing up in Mullines Road, um, of course years ago, it was, it was fun, it was challenging, you know, you had uh, people who would influence you in many ways, you know. And um, somehow in today's life, I can say that um, I can reflect and say that you know, I, I was influenced a whole lot. Um. Rasta was one of your shit. Ball, ball, it's an invited. <laughs> Kingman, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm illegal to come look for the place, but you can't bring none come inside ya. Yeah? When I Rasta not connected, so. Just leave the things for the outside until Luna Rasta is connected. You see what Rasta say? I do believe that actors aren't made, actors are born, you know. I've been performing for a very long time, a very long time. Uh, it started from in basic school, actually, you know. I was bold enough to take the stage when other children, um, pretty, pretty much, you know, in the same class as I am, would cry, you know. In primary school, I, I was on the choir, you know. Don't ask me to sing now, you know. People just run up and down and call the fire brigade and all of that. Don't ask me to sing. But I was, I was, a, I was a singer then, to the point that I actually did solo performances from a primary school. At the time, we were a very renowned choir, you know, the St. Richard's Boys Choir. And um, to have the honor of actually doing a solo piece, you know, it was a great thing, you know. We had the we were under the stewardship of a of a Jamaica renowned um, musician Lloyd Hall, uh, and we we used to perform with um, other primary schools at the Scottskirk that is located downtown, uh, where every year we used to have um, some great recitals, uh, five hundred voices, you know and. Um, it was, it was from then that you know that performing was in my blood. I, I really enjoyed these things, you know, and Christmas carols, recitations and so on, you know. But um, one thing led to another and um, I ironically did not do drama in high school. I, I never even thought of it. It was the furthest thing from my mind. You know, it was like after I left high school and so on, um, this gentleman by the name of Joshua Tomlin, you know, who was featured in quite a number of Jamaica roots plays, you know. He was pretty wary of, of my performance in community drama and so on. So one day they were having this audition, you know, for a roots theater play. One of Jamaica's biggest play at the time, Bon for Bon, you know, and uh, he had called me, you know, and my brother, you know, to audition for parts in the play. <laughs> My brother and myself started out at the same time and uh, that play was a monster hit. Close to 30, if not 30, you know. Um, some of the more notable plays like Bon for Bon as was mentioned, I did On Dominoes part 3 and part 4, I did Mama Man part 2. I did Scandal, you know, the revised version of Scandal, among quite a few, and I actually did one of those sort of contemporary, contemporary drama, so to speak. Um, that was way back in about 1992, uh, which featured the likes of um, Glenn Campbell, Rosie Murray, and quite a few other uh, known actors and actresses across the Caribbean, you know. That was an opening experience, that was a real eye-opener for me, you know. Right about now, if you understand, say, oh, Rasta's been a fortune for this place, say, no. And Rasta renovated to the D, you see what I'm saying? Not a blemish, you see what I'm saying? So I don't want no problem from nothing, and When you see Rasta, say, yeah. Under my nose, part three, uh, to date, has been one of my best plays, I must say. It has been. Uh, largely because um, of the character that I played in it, you know. To this day, I still enjoy the character. Um, the character's name is Little Wicked. Um, that character particularly made me know that um, 
I have a lot to offer as it relates to theatre and character playing because funny enough that play was probably it wasn't probably it was staged before I actually performed and uh, the original member who played the character you know um, apparently did a, a whole lot of justice to it you know to the point that when I started playing you know I was being told by other cast members that if you could have do it so like the person and so on and you know and I was you know I was saying why them keep telling me about this guy here? I was even I was even told that uh, I would probably get um, a cassette or a DVD, whatever, to see how the guy performed, or, you know. But I said to myself, look, listen to me. I know what I have to offer. And um, with, a, with a little guidance from the director, you know, even though he was one of them. <laughs> it might have made after this interview, but what the hell, I can't run. <laughs> Yeah, um, with a few little tips from him, you know, I must tell you that um, it was great. I, I, I transformed that character into somebody else that, believe me, hardly anywhere that I go, people just see me and be in stitches. And the character was seriously funny. I never really feel it until the after effects, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Well, that's the end. And I come for that collect and I deposit still. Sister, it's cool, man. You know, that's that girl. Come here, man. That's the one. Reason the eye, you know. Hey, yo. No, man. Cool, no, man. Make us show you a thing, man. A long time, that's that look on the eye, that's a boy. Trust me, the eye is grown like some English pounds. You know what I'm saying? And a long time, I'm trying to trace it. Ice cream. Take the eye, frankly. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, your affect rest are some serious kind of way, you know. Yes, man, say. Right now, I see you like my queen. Yes, man, say. When I take the black star line and I go back to Ethiopia, you, it's like the queen of Sheba, and I like King Solomon. Now. And you just stay there and sit down for me, chone. And the rest of us sit down for me, chone. I mean, sit down for me, chone. <laughs> he did nothing foolish, Mark you. Nothing beyond the norm that you'd probably, you know, some people work for laughter. The character needed nothing. All he had to do was just talk. It's right about now, sister. You see, if you're April, me and me, if you're night, me and day. <laughs> I think I was in my element then, and there's not much I can say unless I'm performing, you know, under my nose part three. I guess whenever that DVD is out and so on, people need to get it, and then they'll see and understand what I'm talking about. There's not much I can say about it right now, but... There is also this this play that I did, and I, I, it has a it has a spot in my heart, you know, because I I did that play, you know, as one character, and had to do it as another character, and um, that was when the challenges really stood out. When I take it this morning, it has a four and a half inches. I said more fire for a sharp tool. Well, sir, I sympathize with you for the downward revision of your multiplier, but you'll have to speak to the doctor about it. No, suck your sympathy. We weren't getting the kind of review that we was hoping to have got. You know, it it it. It was sort of lukewarm, you know, and um, when you're in this business, you're not in this business to get lukewarm reviews. You want to hear that you hit the nail on the head. But because of the kind of the kind of reviews we were getting and weren't satisfied with it, we decided to do some post-mortem on this thing and um, the director came up with this idea of turning that very straight Mr. Stone, you know, into a Rastafarian. Now, I must say that um, I'm always up for a challenge, but I, I took a, a back seat for a little to think about it. I say a Rastafarian. I actually played a Rastafarian in Under My Nose. How would I separate that Rastafarian from the Rastafarian that is being asked of me now? <laughs> I never have a part now, Steve, you know, because I don't want to bust no us. But eat knowing that I shall maintain lovely part of the daughters. <laughs> that Rastafarian, you know, 
came from a, a totally different background. And if you, if you, if you, if you internalize the characters, you know that is what will help you most. This outburst of emotion is rendering Rasta totally defenseless. <laughs> we did what we had to do, and funny enough, that was when the rave review started to come in. Your torrents are overturning my boat, and this will cause I to drown. Well, you need to put your head above the waters. <laughs> I guess um, it's every actor's dream to to do a movie, you know, it's something that can be shown worldwide, you know, it's something that will make your name known, you know. I I've I've done a movie, you know, and um, that too was indeed a, a a great challenge because making the transition from stage to do open ear shots and so on, you know, the, you know, it made you realize how difficult it is and how much more demanding because taking shots from different angles and continuity in terms of what you said before, you must say it the same way from a different shot and a, from a different angle and so on. You know, the work is very hard, but I must say that I lift my hat to the production company because we were able to complete a full length movie within three days. Wow, um, <laughs> parents don't miss you. It's okay for you to melt here now. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> as much as I'd love to stay, I think it's best that you go now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Movies, I love comedies. You know, comedians. Um, a lot of people did not know that Tom Hanks was a comedian, but you know, I saw him in a few sitcoms and trust me, the guy just had me in stitches, you know. Um, Leslie Nielsen, Steve Martin, Ice Cube. <laughs> I'm not like the average movie goer who just go there to, to just look at the movie, you know. I find myself doing some, what you call, diagnostics, you know, and um, post-mortem and all of that, looking on people's expression to lines or things that are said and all of that, you know, it's pretty much like that, you know. What's the one to deal with different, you know, I don't like call, I'm a little cover cover name, like when I call him, like a bubble to those, and that's it, that's it, that's it, no, no. I want you for reason, like, different, you know, call I, Africa. Africa, Miss Alikin? Yes, sir. Why Africa? Don't forget the Miss Apart, man. I'm going to show you why you call it Africa. And I have a birthmark, right. I want to show you for a birthmark. Yes, sir. 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 I love all forms of music, uh, except heavy metal. Classicals, you know, even from the days of Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, you know, uh, 
because I used to sing a lot of their music in primary school. So, you know, the Ave Marias, the Dominus Deus, you know, I used to sing a lot of Latin songs, Panis Angelicus, you name them. I, I, and um, I did quite a bit of that, you know. Um, uh, reggae music, of course, I'm an avid lover of, of reggae music, you know. Dennis Brown, the Bob Marley's, the Peter Tosh. Um, presently, I, I must say that I, I have... I can't sing anymore like I used to, but if I should go to a karaoke show, it is either Dennis Brown or a Bob Marley that I tend to lean to, to do, you know. Um, I love that sort of thing, you know, and uh, um, music is universal. It speaks to just about anybody, and therefore I like to be universal, so I consider myself musical. You understand? Pretty much. Jackie! Find anything upon that the crust deal with it. Any trap. <coughs> yeah, natural. Now this is the wicked upon the case, so. And Rasta don't talk in a ease, so. I just want to pick up all the nice and decent people in the place. Joe! Rasta Fire, are you? Everybody will never be able to make sure. Silencia is the first, so. You say. I say we no stop on the herb. I say we can't stop on the herb. I say we no stop on the herb. I say we can't stop blazing. Come me say we a buck in now 1966. When things are sick, yeah, you fuck what to say. Make a visitor. Say out that if one come in like a rasta old sister. Say me done that at least millions of split blazing. Rasta body of the dick. This is my story, real ghetto story. This is my story, real ghetto story. Hey. I remember those days when hell was my home When me and mama bed was a big piece of foam I may never like bed and me here never come When mama gonna work me, go street, go roam I remember when Danny them take me snow cone And make him little brother them kick up Jerome I remember when we visit them with pure big stone And the boy Danny pop out some full crow I remember when we run for target him knee blown And me best friend Richie get when I'm dumb, I remember Sunny Avenue turning a war zone and Mikey mother fly him out cause she get alone but Mikey got too far in and got tunnel capone get one leap of money and send me no a home no a we are like the city and that is well known you see that Mikey call me from the phone me say Mikey we get the thing them them out at can go on and on you know <laughs> um Another one um, earlier is Merciless, you know. I used to just laugh at Merciless lyrics them, you know. I, I, I used to love it, you know. Um, he had one in particular, you know, he used to talk. Um, Some girl man confused, beg till them don't know a who fi choose. All the text she text, she no stop get used. The one well over a him, she a refuse. New news, some man of goals put in a them out and them no know. This girl come from over who a lay ho. Have a man, well over from head to toe. First man she ever got to a tree tar so. There are some places never dream for go. Take her go shopping all at Chicago. You know some kind of girl, we can't say no. Every man ask her, she say let's go. Every night a different man, she have feel line up in a row. The one well over, she a taking for puppy show. Left the picnic gonna dance all on stage show. Girl fall a friend, no she a sleep out a door. Muggle, can you not stay so? Some girl. You know, I'm not talking about, you know. I like that sort of thing, you know. Um, and the ones that appeal to me is the ones that I tend to lean to their lyrics in terms of knowing them, you know. You know, go on, but come in my quest to give a piece in, man. You give a vibe, you so. Yeah, I kind of like the direction with the eye. Take natural. You see what I say? No, a few things just have to tell you still. You see, anytime you run up on the stage there, I just want the eye to acknowledge the fans, them straight. Because a stage show is all about the fans. You see, like what wedding is all about the bride. A stage show is all about the fans. Straight. Watch me. You see, a good intro can get a wicked stage.
start, if you know what I mean. Right? So you swing your moon up on the stage, eh? I want to speak to the people, eh? Straight! Where else to say? Straight! Natural! I miss the nocturnal essence of your perfume. So intense. The power of your grip as I slip in. The mellifluous moan that prevents you from answering the phone. Now it's time to remove this absence. As it relates to poetry, um, <laughs> I, I, I did mention that uh, I know a poem since I was four years old and I still know it today. You know, and most of my stuff that I write, I can't seem to remember. Now I shall prepare myself for the day when I shall hear you say, I miss you so much. And as such, I will never leave you again. Um, I'm not the poet you want me to be. Void of the kaleidoscopic frame of language that will set your mind free of the torture and torment of the common words that I'm used to, and not being able to transcend and translate them into fashions and forms that I myself may, may not be able to understand while you wait with unabated breath. Judiciously enjoying moments of impaling me on your sharpened steel of criticism, cynicisms that intersperse with everyday life that makes the will to survive in your society that much harder. How do you justify beating your woman? If for you she has no passion, why not set her free for her to come to me? <laughs> Do you think that I'm too close behind? A more understanding man, she wishes she would find. When you make love, does she ask for more? Are you sorry that I live next door? What are you afraid of? During your nocturnal game, does your woman my name. I do not consider myself a comedian, I must say, but I've, I've been able to, to get lines and deliver them and people do laugh about them, you know, so, you know what I must say, you know, it's about, about exploring the entire field, the entire genre, and do what you must to survive in this, in this, in this, in this world of theatre. I've thoroughly enjoyed what I've done so far, you know, even though a few hiccups, you know, things that you can laugh at, like being, you know, stoned on stage and to run off, you know. That is something else I would tell somebody about sometime, but not now, you know. But I, I, I've enjoyed it because um, I'm able to look back and laugh. And uh, it has been, um, like my guy said, true ghetto story, it has been a true reflection for me, you know. Um, Theatre takes me out of my pain.